In linguistics, cognates are words that have a common etymological origin. Cognates are often inherited from a shared parent language, but they may also involve borrowings from some other language. For example, the English words dish and desk and the German word tisch table", are cognates because they all come from Latin discus, which relates to their flat surfaces. Cognates may have evolved similar, different or even opposite meanings, but in most cases there are some similar sounds or letters in the words, in some cases appearing to be dissimilar. Some words sound similar, but do not come from the same root, these are called false cognates, while some are truly cognate but differ in meaning, these are called false friends. The word cognate derives from the Latin noun cognatus, which means, "...blood relative". <laughs> <laughs> Characteristics Cognates do not need to have the same meaning, which may have changed as the languages developed separately. For example English starve and Dutch sterven or German sterben to die", all derive from the same Proto-Germanic root, asterisk sterbana die". Discus is from Greek dishos from the verb dikane, to throw. A later and separate English reflex of discus, probably through medieval Latin desca, is desk coeds, v, desk. Cognates also do not need to have similar forms, English father, French peri, and Armenian hire all descend directly from Proto-Indo-European asterisk ph ter. An extreme case is Armenian erku and English tu, which descend from Proto-Indo-European asterisk duo note that the sound change asterisk dw greater than erk in Armenian is regular. Across languages Examples of cognates in Indo-European languages are the words night English, nicht Scots, nacht German, nacht Dutch, nag Afrikaans, nark Colonian, nat Swedish, Norwegian, nat Danish, nort Faroese, not Icelandic, noc Czech, Slovak, Polish, nok nok Russian, nok nok Macedonian, nos norsh Bulgarian, nik nik Ukrainian, nok 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 Belarusian, nok Slovene, nok Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian, nakits Latvian, nak Nactus Lithuanian, Nix Nix Ancient Greek, Nychta Nychta in Modern Greek, Nact Sanskrit, Nate Albanian, Nos Welsh, Cornish, Nos Breton, Nox Noct Latin, Nuit French, Noche Spanish, Nuesh Asturian, Noich Portuguese and Galician, Note Italian, Nit Catalan, Nuech Nuate Occitan and Noipt Romanian, all meaning night, and being derived from the Proto-Indo-European asterisk Nocties. Night. Another Indo-European example is star English, stan Scots, stern German, streeter Dutch and Afrikaans, stan Colonian, St. Jana Swedish, stern Norwegian and Danish, St. Jana Icelandic, stjorna Faroese, sterno Gothic, street Sanskrit, Tara Hindustani and Bengali, Tora Assamese, Sitare Persian, Store Pashtu, Esteri or Sturk Kurdish, Astgh Armenian, Aster Aster Greek or Asteri, Austro Asteri, Astro in modern Greek, Aster Latin, Astra, Atoil French, Astro, Stella Italian, Sti Romanian and Venetian, Estelle Catalan, Estella Occitan, Estrella and Astro Spanish, Estrella Asturian and Leonese, Estrella and Astro Portuguese and Galician, Seren Welsh, Steren Cornish and Steren Breton, from the Proto-Indo-European asterisk H Streeter star. The Arabic Salam, the Hebrew Shalom, the Assyrian Neo-Aramaic Shlama and the Amharic Selam peace", are also cognates, derived from the Proto-Semitic asterisk Salam peace". Cognates may often be less easily recognized than the above examples, and authorities sometimes differ in their interpretations of the evidence. The English word milk is clearly a cognate of German milch, Dutch melk, Russian maloko, maloko and Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian, Slovenian mleko, also Montenegrin mlijeko. On the other hand, French lait, Catalan llet, Italian latte, Romanian lapte, Spanish leche and light Portuguese and Galician all meaning milk. A less obvious cognates of ancient Greek gorlactos gorlactos, genitive singular of gala gala, milk. A relationship that is more evidently seen through the intermediate Latin lac, milk, 
as well as the English word lactic and other terms borrowed from Latin. All of them come from Proto-Indo-European H melg, milk. Some cognates are semantic opposites. For instance, while the Hebrew word chutzpah means impudence, its classical Arabic cognate hasafar means sound judgment. Another example is English empathy, understanding of thoughts, and Greek emporia, malice. Topic within the same language cognates within a single language, or doublets, may have meanings that are slightly or even totally different. For example, English ward and guard to perceive, watch out for are cognates, as a shirt garment on top and skirt garment on bottom to cut. In some cases, including this one, one cognate skirt has an ultimate source in another language related to English, but the other one shirt is native. That happened with many loanwords, such as skirt in this example, which was borrowed from Old Norse during the Danelaw. Sometimes both doublets come from other languages, often the same one but at different times. For example, the word chief meaning the leader of any group comes from the Middle French chef head, and its modern pronunciation preserves the Middle French consonant sound. The word chef the leader of the cooks was borrowed from the same source centuries later, but by then, the consonant had changed to a sh sound in French. Such word sets can also be called etymological twins, and they may come in groups of higher numbers, as with, for example, the words wain native, wagon, wagon Dutch, and vehicle Latin in English. A word may also enter another language, develop a new form or meaning there, and be reborrowed into the original language, that is called reborrowing. For example, the Greek word kinema, kinema movement became French cinema compare American English movie and then later returned to Greece as cinema, cinema the art of film, movie theatre. In Greek, kinema, kinema, movement, and cinema, cinema, filmmaking, cinema are now doublets. A less obvious English language doublet pair is grammar and glamour. Topic false cognates False cognates are words that people commonly believe are related have a common origin, but that linguistic examination reveals are unrelated. For example, on the basis of superficial similarities, the Latin verb habere and German haben, both meaning to have, appear to be cognates. However, because the words evolved from different roots, in this case, different Proto-Indo-European roots, they cannot be cognate see for example Grimm's law. German haben, like English have, comes from pi asterisk kh pi a, to grasp, and its real cognate in Latin is capere, to seize, grasp, capture. Latin habere, on the other hand, is from pi asterisk g ab, to give, to receive, and hence cognate with English give and German geben. Likewise, English much and Spanish mucho look similar and have a similar meaning but are not cognates, as they evolved from different roots, much from Proto Germanic asterisk Michelas. Topic. See also Cognate object Figura etymologica Historical linguistics Indo-European vocabulary Interlingual homograph List of German cognates with English in Wiktionary Lists of words having different meanings in American and British English <laughs>